Let's go. It's time for another episode of Respect My Journey. It's your host, Carl Krauser, the Cruising King, King Krauser, peep me. with the best let's get it what's going down it's called crowds of the crucian king aka that old black magic what's going down all love positive energy to the world man we back with another episode rocking 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 in the first quarter we here knock it off man look man this comedy how we rocking though and thank you to all the new subscribers we out here playing man we out here doing our thing wrecking in the gym minding your business Going hard, trying to believe, you know, that everything's going to be okay because all these hurricanes, tornadoes, floods all over the place, fires, you know, God bless the people who lost their life, always love. It's crazy, man. People going through hard times all over the world, man. So it's crazy. God bless them, positive energy, and salute to the people who lost one and lost a couple, lost people, man. God bless y'all. Hey. God bless the ones who are doing well. God bless the ones that are trying to wake up every day and make their life better for themselves and their family and understanding with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here through positive progress and positive energy and we are a piece of his light and we're going to let that shine. Don't let anyone take your shine, your smile, anything else, man. And don't let anyone trick you out your body. Don't let anyone trick you out your body and out your freedom. This is real life, man. And sometimes... Certain people get caught up in he say, she, uh, he say, she say type of things, man. And it's, it's crazy. A lot of people that don't have, uh, what do you say, uh, things to do, you know, or they don't believe in, you know, not gossiping and talking about others. You know, they rather listen to the negative comments about other people. And it's just, it's sad that they do it, but... You know, some people don't have anything else to do but talk about other people. And it's a bad thing. It's a sad thing. And it's just like, a, you know, negative energy transference. And they're just, hey, if I know I can get that person's ear because they don't like the same person that I don't like, hey, I'm going to go with it as far as I can. And I'm going to manipulate the situation as far as I can. And people, young kids, older people, you have to watch that. The people that's trying to befriend you. People that's trying to just be in your circle, maybe at work or anything else, because you know what you should be doing at work? Handling your business at work. At work. Not trying to be everybody's friend. Not trying to go out for drinks all the time or go eat dinner all the time and ask people about their business all the time. Hey, can I get your number? So let's do this and snack. Come on, look. Knock it off, champ. I don't want to do all of that. Everybody doesn't want to do all that. Everybody doesn't want you in their business. Everybody doesn't want to talk all the time. Everybody doesn't like that. They're not like that. You get what I'm saying? And they don't have to do that. And they shouldn't have to be forced to be going to different parties or luncheons or anything else. And if they don't do that, y'all make a little group. And then y'all talk about different people, male and female. I've seen it. I've seen it all, man. I've seen it on and off the court. I've seen it in workplaces. It happens all the time. So you have to watch who you talk to, man, too, man. Watch who you telling stuff to. Because these people don't really have the best interest in your in heart for you, man. They don't care. Some people are really still competing 
and following on and carrying on some of their old teachings and negative teachings that they've been taught by their ancestors, maybe grandfather, great grandfather, grandmother, mother, anyway, father. You know what I'm saying? So, uncle, aunt, niece, whatever. I don't know. Some of these people always, I mean, not niece, excuse me, but you know what I mean. But it's like, man, it's just so sad sometimes, man. And all this stuff is going on. Yeah, people like entertaining all type of negative stuff on the YouTube and, and on all these different social platforms. And I'm like, man, how do you have energy just to get up every day and talk about other people? Really, talk about other people all your life. Like, you don't want to create any other platform, any anything else. Like, it's just negative, negative talk. And it's like, man, it's comedy, but it's sad at the same time because it's always our people, our color leading that race, man. You know what I mean? And it's crazy how in, like, sometimes people want to be seen in this light, you know, as they're better than other people all the time. And it's killing me how they're, like, in super competition to have this light shined on them. And they just have to be seen. They have to be the loudest one. I can't stand extra people. I don't like extra people. I don't like super loud people. I just chill and vibe. So I always used to just pee people and not see it. Like, and like in basketball, even with like, you know, people that feel like they're better than what they are. So many people in, in all sports and in, and in life, people think they're better than what they are. And I'm like, man, this is crazy. Like, this is really bugged. Like, why are so many people delusional? Like, what do you, what, what, that, that, that person is, that soul inside you, it isn't what's outside. It isn't, or what's in your head that you, the way you think of yourself, it isn't registering. It isn't registering to the rest of the world. It's not true. Okay? It's a false, it's a facade, it's a false thought. Like, it's a false way of being, man. It's a false, like, it is a false thought. Just leave it at that. Like, that's that. Like, it's sad. Yeah, people want to be like legends. Like, I'm talking about any sport, man. Come on, man. I'm going to put up the definition of legend, and I'm going to do everything like that. But in street ball, come on, champ. We have to knock it off. There's too many people, like, just say, like, in street ball in New York City. I know it's like that in other cities. I talked about it. Well, I talked to different people in other cities about stuff like this. You know how they have like these people that can be commentators or these referees or it could be, you know, coaches or whatever, or these rappers, anybody. They can have a different relationship with somebody and big them up and pump them up to be something that they definitely are not. They definitely aren't that. And it's super crazy to <laughs> keep seeing it. And it's like, yo, why you keep trying to pump these people? We have the proof. We know the proof, the people. Like how you, why do you keep trying to insult people? You're talking about these people are legends. This is your biased opinion. These are people you know. Those are your biased opinions. Like, we got the facts. We know about these people's history. And we were there. People were there. You know what I mean? So, it's a sad thing that this keeps happening. It's like, man, watching delusional people group together. It's like, wow, okay. But... Myself and other people, we see, we watching. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all might as well throw a parade. Hey, <laughs> throw a parade, man, for the corn party. This is bananas. Like, knock it off. It's too comedy for life. Like, <laughs> it's sick. It's like, why do y'all need this validation? Y'all all fronting and y'all all faking. And it's like, wow. We all seeing older people be super thirsty. Now, there's nothing wrong with creating memories and doing things like that that's fire that's a great look but the other sucky stuff is corny it's stupid it's extra it's super visible and it's bananas man i think y'all really need to knock it off man and just relax man and enjoy life man just enjoy your people like everybody isn't a legend if everybody's a legend then what's the purpose like how is it cool to be a legend i don't want to be anything else everybody like everybody can be like, it's crazy. If you anybody can be a legend, it's no good. And then, like, who qualifies a lot of these people to call people legends? It's super comedy, man. Super comedy. But, hey, man, that's the way it go, man. This isn't the magic show, but we vibing on life, man, and we chilling, man. It's respect my journey. I got love for everybody, man. It's always positive energy, and I hope everybody's doing well. 
And I hope everybody gets to, you know, get a chance to talk to their family members and friends and associates and everybody. And I hope everybody gets a chance to, you know, maybe pray for somebody going through rough times or a couple of different people. You know what I mean? Hey, if you can talk to some people sometime and just uplift them sometime and make them smile, show some dimples, you know what I mean? Show the teeth and, get, you know, just get under that negative and try to push it out a little bit. Hey, do it. If you can try to get some workouts in, you know, and help your body and make some of this here, like I'm going to do in a second, some ginger juice, you know, try. If you can use some of this turmeric right here, add that on. You know what I mean? I'm drinking water like this right here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to stay positive and healthy, man. And, and uh, in conclusion, I will not get the vaccine, man. You know, the government, the FDA doesn't approve it. And it isn't smart for me. You have to have five years. You have to go through research and it has to pass through five years of different scientists, you know, testing it and going through research and, and finding out, you know, different data about it, you know, different information, you know, and making a, you know, just a, a conclusion about, you know, a conclusion about the virus and about the, you know, what, what you know, uh, vaccinations or what can be, not even the vaccination, what can be done about it, first of all. Or is this the right thing? You know, what's going on? What, 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 like this vaccination that we were talking about with the FDA, they have to approve it. So it's like, man, if they're not saying it's cool and it takes five years for that to pass, then you're going to tell me you're concocting a vaccine made from whatever, whoever, whatever you're trying. You get what I'm saying? You're trying stuff. You're putting this stuff together. So you're experimenting with my life. You're experimenting and you're leaving it up to probability, excuse me, probability and chance. You get what I'm saying? So I just, I don't feel comfortable with that. You know, you're, you're firing doctors and nurses that choose to speak up about the COVID-19. People, you choose to try to silence people who are giving us different ways to stay healthy. You get what I'm saying? And giving us remedies you know, like like this ginger root and like the turmeric and like, you know, oranges and different things like that, that can help us, you know? And you're trying to like, you're trying to dismiss everybody else's viewpoint on how to stay healthy and how to keep themselves pretty much alive and how they can help everybody else stay alive longer. I told you it's hashtag stay a while. Get what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So if you're going to exercise and you're going to use the ginger root, the turmeric, and you're going to use the the other things, you're going to eat bananas, you know what I mean? Like, I have a banana here, pause. You know, I make different fruit drinks. So if you're going to blend that in, some people use wheatgrass and blend that up, you know what I mean? Whatever you're going to use, I hope it's beneficial to you and your family, you know, and your body, first of all. Because if your body is pretty much, you know, cleansed and clean, the cleaner your body, the better you'll feel, the better you, your body will react to anything, any type of cold or any type of virus. You get what I'm saying? Your cells will be ready to fight back. It can be just like, it can be that easy. But I'm not going to just sit here and say, I'm going to take some vaccination. They concoct it together and it's supposed to be all right for me and my family and people been dying and getting sick. And they said on the TV and on the internet and on the news everywhere, it doesn't stop you from getting uh, COVID-19 and doesn't stop you from passing it. And then more of those people are coming up with a new strand that has taken a shot and other people have died, like I said, from taking the shot. I'm not trusting that. It sounds shaky. I know it's shaky and that's just my opinion. That's how I feel. And that's what I'm going to do. Me and my family. Me and my people. And it's shaky that they're trying to... And it shows that it's really shaky that they're trying to force you. And trying to force the army to come in and do this and that. They want to force... They want to try to uh, bully you by... Bully you to take the vaccination by putting your jobs in your kids' school. Your kids' school work and education in jeopardy. And at the same time after that, 
they want you to go to school. Some of these people want us to go to school with no mask, knowing that these people don't, some of these people, the way they live in their household, it isn't right. And a lot of these people don't work out. They don't, you know, I mean, that they aren't the safest, they aren't the best people when it comes to, you know, just proper hygiene, you get what I'm saying? Or just staying fit. So it's easy for them, it's easier for them to catch COVID or anything else. So you don't want your child to be subjected and be next to other kids who are going through that in their household. You know, you don't want your kids to be around a ton of people in a, in a, and you know, it's just gonna be there in a secluded room for a certain, that long period of time. It, it isn't like there's air blowing on them or anything else so you know it can you know try to push the cold you know the cold air can try to push some of the you know the, the people's uh breathing you know around or push it out or whatever no it isn't anything like that they're going to be in the room it's going to be uh become winter time things are going to be shut the heat is going to be on people are going to be cold so come on it's more it's more uh it's more of a chance for these kids to get sick we know how that does man when the heat connects with the germs so it isn't a smart thing i think people should still you know try to use your mask right now you know it's a smart thing to do man protect your loved ones don't go out there trying to be brave man brave for what it's, it's smart and it's brave for you to care about your family enough to put a mask on cover up you like people think just because they have a mask on they don't have to cough i mean when they cough they don't have to cover their mouth it's still respectful where's your manners Cover your mouth out, you know, while you're coughing. Like, that's just, like, it's nasty. It's disgusting. Just because you have a mask on, you don't think that cough that you're coughing with that type of force and that air velocity is going to come out. Boom. Come on, it's spreading everybody else faster. Cover your mouth, too, man. Show some respect to everybody else. It's okay. It's cool, man. Look, man. Leave the world better. Leave the world better. Okay? So on your way out, man. You understand, look, I did something positive. I did something to help the world. I did something to help the people, man. And people that want to become popular, why don't you become popular in being a good person? How about that? Why don't you become popular at leaving negative energy alone? This world is going through enough. It has enough negativity, man. People trying to believe they're demons and all this other stuff. This negative stuff they're promoting in the songs and everywhere else, man. And our kids are subjected to it. And it's crazy, man. Like I said, a lot of these people, a lot of these parents, they think they're still young and they want to listen to the stuff with their kids. And you, that negative energy is transferring to these kids. And that it's, your kids are out there at different schools or online trying to, you know, spread it to the next kid, and it's just the evil working with that negative energy transference. So enough is enough, man. You take responsibility in being yourself, man, and appreciating what God's given you, and that soul and that energy and light that you have in you, that's the real light. You are the light. He's blessed you. You're a piece of God's light. Right over left, we the best, man. Legends are legendary. You get what I'm saying? And legendary people speak about legends. That's what's real in life. It's right over left. We the best, man. It's called Krauser, the Crucian King, King Krauser. That old black magic. VI, one time. X up. Let's go. New York City. Why not me? Around the whole world. I love y'all. Knock it off. Easy.
blessed. Thank you to my man, Jesus. Thank you to his mom. I appreciate y'all. Thank you t for everything y'all did for me. Appreciate y'all. Salute to Maya Glass and P.O.